the hands bias the way we think and the way our brains work. How, does, uh, how do bodily biases interact with linguistic and cultural biases? Well, the hands aren't the only uh, things th that are messing with our minds. Our languages and our cultures are too. The body specificity hypothesis is the, the first line of research uh, in a larger program I call bodily relativity, this idea that people with different bodies uh, will have different minds and different brains as a consequence. Linguistic relativity is a, a very old, much embattled idea that people who speak different languages think differently as a consequence. But most linguists and cognitive scientists throughout the, the past several decades uh, have dismissed this idea out of hand. When I started probing this idea during graduate school, uh, trying to defend the notion of a universal mind, my data said otherwise. The deeper I dug into effects of language on cognition, uh, the deeper it seemed that they went. It turns out that uh, the language that you speak shapes the way you think in myriad and fundamental ways. Some of our research concerns handedness. Handedness is simply a dominance of one hand over the other. And to me, handedness is a model system for exploring how experience shapes the brain and mind. What I call the body specificity hypothesis is that if the, the contents of our minds are shaped by the way we interact with the environment, then people with different kinds of bodies who interact with their environment in systematically different ways will think differently as a consequence. And handedness is one of the tools that we use to test this idea. Why is the right hand the good hand across many languages and cultures? Well, we can act more fluently with our right hand if that's our dominant hand, and for most people it is. About 90% of people are more righty than they are lefty. Research has shown uh, that uh, if you can act more fluently on the world, you feel better about it. We know that people gesture differently uh, with their dominant and non-dominant hands when they're speaking. How might these gestures influence uh, the listener? In the White House, left-handers are tremendously overrepresented. According to the, the statistics, we should have about one out of 10 presidents uh, should be a left-hander by chance. It's about half of the, the presidents uh, since the dawn of the television era. Why might this be? Well. As we, the right-handed majority, are sitting at home watching our televisions, left-handers are on our screen gesturing most often with their left hand, which is on the viewer's right side of the screen. So perhaps by watching a politician gesture on our good side, on the viewer's good side, uh, these gestures are boosting our positive feelings about that, that politician. Different aspects of, of the mind depend on different streams of experience. This is why it's not sufficient to study uh, bodily relativity alone, or linguistic or cultural relativity alone. We need to study all of these different streams of experience uh, and find ways to separate their influences and then find ways to study how those influences combine.